Jerry packed up and I walked her out to the front door? Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem. I'm glad I was able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then, Yuri Fidgets, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, I kind of say without thinking. About today. It's fine. We didn't have as much time as we wanted because we can do this again. Whenever you want, you can come over or we can go out somewhere. Oh, I forgot you don't like going out too much. Anyways, you know I'm trying to say, so you're very thoughtful, Arcavius. Yuri takes a step closer to me, then briefly squeezes my hand. I kind of like that about you. Well, how am I supposed to respond to that? But I don't even get a chance to as Yuri suddenly pulls back. S Sayori, eh. Ah. Hi, Arcavius. Sayori, just now, we weren't. Eh, heh, heh. It's okay, Arcavius. I just stopped by to say hi. Um, well, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Aw, oh, really? That's too bad. I was gonna shank you both. <laughs> I was gonna I'm fucking so take both and cut your faces off. <laughs> Wear them. I'll get the good fest tomorrow, so that's fine, right? Of course. Sayori beams. Yeah, so I'll see you tomorrow. Clearly embarrassed, Yuri hires off. Sayori waves goodbye after her. Sayori, I thought you didn't want to come over today. Ah, uh, well, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination is being really mean to me, so I had to come over here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know. How much fun you were having with Yuri, dude? She sucked my finger. I don't know if it didn't she sucked my it. fucking. <laughs> seen it. But I, I cut my finger and she sucked it. <laughs> <How close is laughs> so, uh, <laughs> it makes me really happy that you've made such good friends. Good oh friends. Oh my wait, wait. Hold on, that's dude, all that matters no. to me. Wait, where are you? Oh, no, no, no. I'm like, I'm trying to say, like, dude, she's gonna be like, you. Like, it's, it's gonna. Be, I think I know what's gonna happen. It's gonna get weird. Yeah. <laughs> Just keep that. Okay. Tears that you start to fall down Sayori's face. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Arcavius? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Sayori, don't say that. It's true, Arcavius. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being so selfish. Monica was right. I, was sh I should just... Monica? Monica was right about what? Sayori, what I said before is true. I'm not gonna let... Did Monica, like, tell this bitch to kill herself? Probably. Oh my god! Cade, we do this to kids on bed wars! God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> do this every day! Caring about you what like this isn't you? the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm gonna be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But, Sierra looks away. Put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Arcavius. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sari? So, Bob, what would have happened if we chose her to be our partner? Would we just have gotten to this part faster? Uh, you cannot choose her. Oh, you can't? Okay. No. I'm scared that... It would that... be an excuse, like always. Oh, so she, you just, you'll click on it and says, oh, I can't, and then you have to choose somebody else? Kind of. Okay. You can only go with, uh... One of the three? The... Okay. Oh, uh, no. No, no. Only no. with, uh, Yuri or... Oh, there's, oh, there's, there That's are only three, never mind. Um, that I might like you more than you like me. Sayori, it's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself, Arcavius. I like you so much that I want to die. That's how I feel, and, and... That's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down Sayori. That that went somewhere else. Sayori's yeah. arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Where the Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know that you need what you need the most right now, and that's what I'm going to give you. Oh. Which one? Let's drop the I love you. Let's do it. I love you. Eh? Those are my true feelings, so there's no way you could like me more than I like you. I should have realized it sooner, but spending time with everyone at the club, making new friends, and having fun with you every day, it helped me realize that you're truly the most important person to me. That's why I'll accept you and your burdens. As long as we continue like this every day with you by my side, then I know we'll both be happy. Arcavius. Suddenly, Siri wraps her arms tightly around me. Arcavius. <laughs> <laughs> Is this really okay? Yeah. I hold Siri in my arms and pull her closer. You'll never have to let go of me again. I love you, Arcavius. It's the first time anyone's ever said that. Arcavius. <laughs> I want to be with you forever. Oh, damn. Me too. Me too. <laughs> we get a little bit. What is this? Sayori? I'm supposed to be happy right now. I always thought this would be the happiest moment in my life, but why? Even now, why won't the rain clouds go away? Aw, oh, she don't love me. She just said it because I said it. 
not going away at all, Arcavius. It's okay, Sayori. It might take some time, things to get better, but no matter how long it takes, I'll be there for every step of the way. That all that matters right now. Okay, I trust you. Sayori and I slowly release each other. So I guess that makes the festival tomorrow our first day, huh? Eh. <laughs> What are you <laughs> I don't want to think about those things, you know. I want everything to be the same as it always been, even if we really are a couple. I don't know if I can handle anything more right now. It's really new and scary to me. I understand. We'll go at whatever pace suits best. Hey, Arcavius. Sarah gazes at me once again, smiling sadly. Even if I get really, really sad, this is the best thing for me, right? Eh? I don't really understand what Sarah means by that. Are you saying that this is making you feel sad, Sarah? I, I don't know. I don't understand what I'm feeling. It felt like a bunch of thorns you told me you love me, but that's why I want to trust you. You know what's best for me. <laughs> yeah. I do. That's my promise. Where where's like this where's her parents at? Like maybe she should like go like to like a therapist they or something. You really don't see parents. Yeah guys, let's go ahead and drop this right now. If you guys are feeling upset or sad, talk to your parents, teachers, guidance counselor, your dog, anyone who will listen, man. Trust me you'll feel better. I say that but in reality I've never felt more uncertain when it comes to Sayori. I know that I love her and she loves me, but I'm having as much trouble understanding serious feeling as she is, even though I can't... Fuck, I skipped it. I keep wondering if um, I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. Is that what Sayori meant by wanting to change? I don't know. But I know that I'll give it everything I've got. Sayori's the most important person to me, and I'll do whatever it takes to make her happy. Skip to the next area. It's the day of the festival. Of all days, I expect this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori, but Sayori isn't answering her phone. I consider going to her house and waking her up, but decide that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. The banner Yuri and I painted is dry, and I gently rolled it up to take it with me. She sent me a pleasant text reminding me not to forget anything, and I reassured her. Fully enough, I probably feel the same way as Asuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Sayori and Yuri at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will go great too. Arcavius, you're the first one here. Thanks for being early. That's funny. I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica is placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. They must be the ones she prepared that have all the poems that are performing. Um, do we just... Wait, are we not there yet, Bob? You are there. Okay, we're here. Keep okay. going. So that's the one I'm performing. I'm surprised you I don't you like the way he Yuri, said that. Yeah. Hold on. I don't like the way he said that. Why did you say it like that? <laughs> yeah, she overslept again, that dummy. You'd think that on the days it's important she'd try a little harder. I say that, but I suddenly remember that Sierra told me yesterday. It's suddenly feeling awful knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said it because that's the way I'm used to thinking. But maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all? Ahaha, uh -huh. you should take a little responsibility for her, Arcavius. Especially after you after your exchange with her yesterday. What? How the hell she knows? Huh? What? She, she watching me? <laughs> Hanging this morning, you know? Exchange, Monica. You you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president. After that's not an ex that's not an excuse. That that is not, that's not an, an explanation excuse. at all. <laughs> but I stammer, embarrassed. Did Sarah really tell her about it that quickly? That we're a couple now? I didn't really plan on bringing it up with anybody. Geez, you don't know the full story at all. So don't worry. Probably won't know. I probably know a lot more than you think. Eh. Monica's being as friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Yeah, sure. I, I don't want to fucking them. look at shit. I'm freaked look out. Look at the yeah. pamphlet. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I flipped to the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed on the page. I recognize Natsuki and Yuri's poems um, from the ones they performed. In our... What's this? Flip to Sayori's poems. It's different from the ones you practiced. It's one that I haven't read before. Get out of my head. 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 Get out of, oh shit, get out of my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I know, I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem was never actually finished, it just stops moving. Uh, what is this? Reading the poem, I get a pit in my stomach. Arcavius? What's wrong? Nothing. This poem feels completely different from everything Sayori has written, but more than that, I, I changed my mind. I'm gonna go get Sayori, so... Ah, uh, well, all right. Try not to take too long, okay? Go leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself when I calls out after me. I quicken my pace. What was I thinking? I should have tried a bit harder for Sayori. It's not a big deal to at least wait for her or help her wake her up. Even simple gestures of walking her to school makes her really happy. Besides, 
I told her yesterday that things will be the same as they always have been. That all she needs and what I want to give her. I reach Siri's house and knock on her door. I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I open the door and let myself in. Sayori, she really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house. That would be something that a boyfriend would do, isn't it? In any case, it just feels right. I'll say Sayori's room. I knock on the door. Sayori, wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter a room like this. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? She really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. Bro! Oh my god. <laughs> And you see why I uninstalled the game. Why is it doing errors on the fucking screen? You'll find out. What the hell? <sighs> what the hell? Is this a nightmare? It has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. Siri wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. I suppressed the urge to vomit just yesterday. I told Siri I'd be there for her. I told her I know what's best and everything will be okay. And then why? Why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Confessing to her. I shouldn't have confessed to her. That's not what Sayori needed at all. She even told me how painful it was for others caring about her. Then why did I confess to her and make her feel even worse? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I just spent more time with her, walked her to school, and remained friends with her like it's always been, I could have prevented this. I knew who could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I can do will bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try it something different? I had only one choice or chance and I wasn't careful enough and now I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers, but I still couldn't do what she needed for me. And now, I can never take it back. Never, 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 never. End. That is not the end. I don't want to fucking play anymore. <laughs> What the fuck? Dude, look at the new game. It's like freaked out. Uh I don't I don't want to play this game. No. I know what the Hey, look at the character screen. Yeah, I know. It's not over if you dare to continue. Dude. Wait, then how do you Wait, how do you continue? There's no load game. You see the error? Do we hit the jumbled error mess? Probably. I don't want to fucking play <laughs> anymore. We have to. Oh no! Dude, look at this shit. <laughs> this is freak me out. <laughs> we have to, man. Please. No. <laughs> I've already started. Can you just go to the next one? Hurry up. It's an error message, dude. Do you see the error message? Yes. I see an annoying I... girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms, lose attention. The girl is. My neighbor, good friend. Uh, we used to just keep skipping. Hang on. I just sign idle and let catch it. I didn't see what it said. What did it say? <laughs> just, just wait. It's gonna like fucking start hold flickering on, at on. you. Th this girl is my. Ne okay, hold on. I need to keep going. But she's gonna chase after me like this. How could I just? Oh my god. I could tell you the do something. Meet some girls or something, something like that, but I have no motivation to join a club. Perfectly content by getting on an average well spent. Is the game continuing like I, there's no one here? You want me to tell you? The day is as ordinary as ever. After packing up the guest here, blanket the wall, looking for motivation. Clubs. Anything interests me besides most of them. Okay, I guess I have no choice to start with the anime club. Arcade. Bro, Monica. Wait, what? Monica? Oh my goodness, I totally didn't expect you to see you here. It's been a while, right? Uh, yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We don't know each other well. We rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular. Hold on. Our markers? <laughs> I guess you could check the closet. I doubt that I actually quit the debate club. Really quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand looks something arguing. Actually, a, a literature club. Dude, th it's okay. This is where it gets real, Kate. I think this is. I think the whole yep. first part of that was like not even really the game. This is the game, dog. Yes, it is. Oh, God. 
Are you skipping? I'm skipping, yeah, because it's like there's it's all the same shit. The only difference is it's Monica telling you it. Have no interview. The only thing different is that someone doesn't exist. I swear to God, are all these bitches gonna kill themselves? What the fuck, dude? Mon I got to the next scene and Monica starts freaking out. I'm back and I brought you guess with me. Oh Here. my god, dude. I don't want to fucking play this. <laughs> you see, you brought a boy. Dude. Way to kill the atmosphere. Come on, Coos. Shut the fuck up. You're not helping. <laughs> You're making it worse, in fact. You're Monica's boyfriend. Wait, no, wait, no I'm not? Natsuki, the girl with the sour attitude whose name is Grant Natsuki, one I don't recognize her small figure thinks she's probably the first year. And Jack as usual, and this is Yuri the vice president. Yuri's the vice president. Wait, does Sayori not exist anymore? No. Uh, if you go look in your files, you can see for yourself. My your files? files? Yeah. What do you mean, my files? Are you talking about, like, the game files? Yes. Browse, no. Browse local files, characters. <laughs> Bro, she's not there. It's Wait, a, where, a, where do I go a, for a, this? Where dude, do I go for this? Open up your Steam folder. Hold on, I, I have to record this. Hold on one second, dude. I, open up your Steam folder, okay? And where your library, right click Doki Doki Literature Club, properties, uh, local files, browse local folders. Hold on a second, monitor capture. Look at this, dude. She's not fucking in there. She's not in there. <laughs> was she in there to begin with? Yes. You're fucking- no, there's no way. You're fucking with Dude. was in there to begin with. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, no you're not. Don't fuck with us. <laughs> you're not. I, I'm being serious. I'm being 100% serious. I wanna, un I wanna uninstall the game just to see you, but that's gonna be too much. Dude, if you uninstall, we'll have to start all over. I don't want to play this game. We have to just keep skipping, dude. This is getting creepy. Well, you wanted something interesting. Yeah, Here but this is a little next level, dog. <laughs> we just saw a chick commit Sudoku. I fucking knew she was gonna fucking kill herself. Wait, how long is the this one now? Is it as long as the first one? No. How short is it? Oh, God. <laughs> it's still pretty long, but it's not that as long. Okay, so we'll cut here. Yeah.